Hey, it's Zach with Life Insurance Academy, and today I'm going to show you how you can get in front of more people and make more money by simply becoming more efficient and routing your leads. And if you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe, and share so we can continue to send you guys more valuable content that helps you every single day. And today, when we talk about getting in front of people and seeing more people and making more money, we're really, we're talking about being efficient. And the definition of efficiency, according to Google, is achieving maximum productivity with minimum wasted effort. Or another definition they have is really preventing the wasteful use of a resource. Now this resource that we're using as entrepreneurs is our resource of time. Because when we come from a different industry, or we come from a different career where our schedule's laid out in front of us and essentially we're following our orders or our job descriptions, we don't ever have to worry about this time because it's already set inside for us. One of the hard things for us as entrepreneurs is, is having that self-discipline and valuing our time in the field when we're serving clients because that is kind of a gray area for some of us and some agents really struggle with that. Some of us get a late start to the day or the week. Some of us actually, um, you know, they, they pull over and they take a power nap sometimes. I was never guilty of the power nap, but I knew many agents. In fact, I was training an agent one time and they literally had to ask if they could take a power nap in the car with me. And another area that's hard for some agents is they'll actually pull over and they'll start scrolling through social media and then find themselves going through stories and going through reels and wasting all kinds of times when they should be maximizing their efficiency in serving families. Um, some other agents actually start picking up their leads and looking at them, looking at the age of them, looking at the gender of them, looking to see if it's a couple or if it's just a single person, and they're able to just look at those analytics and say, are they going to be home or not? And they're driving all over God's green earth to see who's available to go do a door knock. Now, when we think about efficiency, efficiency actually starts from last week. So we need to make sure that when we're finishing up last week, that we make sure that all of our applications are submitted and turned in. If there's any extra requirements that we need, that those things are submitted and turned in as well. We need to make sure that we have all of our files organized and ready to go. Any new applications that we need to put in our car or put in our bag for the coming week, we need to make sure we have those as well. We need to make sure that all of our devices, such as our laptops, such as our iPads, such as our cell phones, are fully charged. In fact, it might be a good tip if you have one of them portable charging packs to go along with you because you never want to lose battery or lose, um, lose power when you're doing a, a phone health interview with a potential client. We need to make sure that if we are doing a road warrior or we are traveling or staying in a hotel or Airbnb to sell insurance with maybe a team or even if you're by yourself, that you have your bag packed and ready to go before that week even starts. This was something that really helped me to stay mentally ahead and stay as efficient as I can because when it rolled out Monday morning or my week was ready to start, I didn't even have to worry about packing it or putting my bag in the car because it was already there. That is a tip that will really help you to plan and take advantage of your week. And we also need to make sure that we're efficient when it comes to routing our leads. We have to remember our number one goal is to serve as many families as we possibly can in this week in order to be successful. So what if I told you that you could buy one device that cost you between $100 and $200, but that one and same device can actually make you upwards of $50 to $100,000 extra a year. Would you want to invest in one? And I believe your answer would be yes. And that's exactly what I did. And that, that device is actually a GPS. And not just any GPS, it's a Garmin GPS. This is the GPS that I've used. And the reason that I've picked out the Garmin GPS to use is because it has an application built inside of it called Trip Planner. Now this Trip Planner application really allows you to be as efficient as you can in the field. For one, it allows you to plug in every single lead that you have inside of it so they're all included and you're able to rearrange them in any order. This Trip Planner application allows you to plug all of your leads inside of it so you have them in one location. It will also allow you to take that trip and put a name on it. You can name it that particular state or that particular region or that county that you're working so those cluster of leads are always saved together. My favorite feature in the Garmin GPS is going to be that it allows you to optimize your route. 
and you're able to optimize your route based upon your preferred preference, which is generally the closest distance between leads or the fastest time. When we talk about not having or preventing the wasteful use of a particular resource that we talked about earlier in the definition, and that resource that we have as entrepreneurs is our time, because time is money, then we need to make sure that we are optimizing this GPS when it comes to fastest time. Now, once we are able to do that, it allows me to navigate hands-free. So to be able to give you an example of that and how this benefits is I'm literally able to have all my leads plugged into the GPS. It will rearrange them in the fastest order um, that I'm able to see and serve as many clients as I possibly can. But my favorite part about it is when I'm actually going to the home and pulling into the driveway, the GPS knows that I have arrived at my destination. And let's say I get out of the car, I go do a door knock, and they are home or they're not home or I just made the sale. Regardless if I turned my car on or off, the moment I get back in my car, the GPS without touching it or taking any time or looking through any leads, it will automatically route me to my very next location without having to touch a thing. This is where it really speeds up your efficiency. It will also allow, it also give you a time to your next via point. So it will let you know how long it's going to take you to get you to your next door knock. It will let you know how, how long the duration of your entire trip is to run all of your leads. It also will let you know the mileage distance. It really gives you all the data that you need in order to be efficient and maximize your time in the field. Another really cool tip that it has is, like I said, when you're able to save those trips by county or whatever name or the region or state that you have them in, and for whatever reason, if you had to... Um, go back to that area, or you couldn't finish the week, or you have leftover unworked leads that you want to get back to, you were able to get back to those leads because all you have to do is go right into your GPS, click that same saved trip that you have, um, whatever county it's named or whatever you choose to name it, and you can always go work those leads and they're still in the same route preference order and you're able to pick up exactly where you left off and be efficient. Now you may be thinking, well, well, yeah, I mean, how in the world does this GPS make me an extra $100,000? Like, that's, that's impossible. I already um, route my leads or already run leads in some, some other alternative way. And really, the only other alternative ways is to use your cell phone. But I'm going to talk to you about why I don't prefer that personally and what are some areas that it, you may be struggling with when doing that. One of them is, is you need your battery life on your cell phone. Even if you have a brand new cell phone, us as agents, we're on our phones all day. We're doing price quoting, we're doing phone calls, we may be listening to music, we may be listening to podcasts. There's so many different things that we're doing that suck battery life out of your phone. You need to have that readily charged because that is maybe your biggest money maker as a life insurance agent in today's world. The next is to be available for any agent phone calls. If you're a brand new agent, you need to have your phone available to speak to an upline, to speak to a manager, to speak to a mentor, to speak to a coach, to speak to anybody that may need to help you when you're in the field. If you're a manager or you are the upline or the coach or the mentor, you need to have your phone ready because you may be receiving calls or you may be making outbound calls to your team to make sure they're motivated and ready to go or to be available if they need help at any means inside of a home or during a sale. The other part is, is believe it or not, especially in the final expense market, you can actually lose signal. And when you lose signal, you lose your route when it comes to a cell phone. And that can be very difficult trying to figure out where Miss Betty lives all of a sudden when you're going up Snake Lick Road in the, in the back of the mountains and you can't find it. Um, and there's no real optimization other than doing your own method of guessing or looking at the lead card and saying, oh, well, Miss, Miss Johnson might be home. Let, let's just go there because she's this certain age. And you don't ever want to get into that because that is the least efficient way you can do it. Another way some agents do it, and maybe you currently do it now, is you use Google Maps or you use some other website to um, optimize the order of your leads, which is good. I'm glad you guys are looking at being efficient. I'm glad you are looking at something to optimize. The only downside to that is you still need to take every single one of those, even if you number the lead cards one through whatever number you have, and you know that's the order you're gonna run them in, when it comes to your next lead, you have to take that lead card and you still have to enter it in your phone or another device to route you to the place. Now, that may not be a big deal to you, but that could take upwards of three to five minutes per lead per door knock that you're doing. So when you, when you look at that, 
that that doesn't really become as efficient as you could. It's better than not doing anything, but it, 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 there's room for improvement there. You still have the ability to lose phone signal on your route because you're using your cell phone. You still need to make sure you have that, you need that battery power for all the things we listed before, and you still are unable to actually save that trip inside of your phone or your device or having your physical leads to be able to run at a later time. So I want to walk you through a little scenario here to explain of how using the Garmin GPS and particularly the Trip Planner app um, to make it completely efficient for you guys. So let's think about this and I'm going to give you the most conservative numbers as possible. But if we look at um, the, the alternative route for a second and we say, okay, you're using Google Maps and you figured out one through 30, because you'll say you're running 30 leads, one through 30, and these are the order I'm going to run them in. And let's say it takes you three to five minutes after every sit, after sell, whatever the case may be, after each home you, uh, you go to, it's going to take you about three minutes on average, three to five minutes to plug that in and route your next lead. Three minutes times, let's say, 20 door knocks in a day. That's going to be 60 total minutes or equivalent to one hour. If we had an extra one hour, how many door knocks do you think you can get in in one hour? And yes, we know there's drive time between them. And let's just say there's, you know, possibly 10 minutes between each drive time. So we're able to knock six doors, okay? Now, out of six doors, just on a conservative level, how many of those are we going to be able to sit? We'll just say we'll sit one third of them. We'll say we're able to sit two out of those six door knocks. And if we just say we're an average agent or a new agent that only closes about 50%, we'll say we make one sell out of that. Now, it just so happens, and particularly in the final expense market, the average final expense sell is a $59 monthly premium, which equals $708 in annualized premium. That's one app that you were able to get from being efficient because you were able to eliminate all that extra time or guessing and checking and figuring out What's your next gonna lead gonna be? Now I gotta plug it in, now I gotta route it. Why is this thing not getting signal? You didn't have to touch it at all, so you were able to knock six, six extra doors, sit with two extra people, and you got one extra app in that day. Now the cool thing is, is you can do that same thing every single day. So now we take this same formula here, where we got an extra $708 in annualized premium for that one day of being efficient, and let's say we're working four days this week. So we multiply that by four. So out of that four days, that gives us four extra applications. It gives us $2,832 in additional weekly and annualized premium. So if we take that simple commission of 90%, okay, on that $2,832, that's gonna leave us with a full commission of $2,548.80. Now, we take this amount of money and I'm going to take it easy on you guys because you work hard and you get some time off. If that's the amount of money that we are able to make in additional revenue in a week just from being efficient, well, let's multiply that by 44 weeks. I'll give you guys two full months off to go on vacation, to go on all the carrier trips, to have fun and relax because in this business we are able to create time and money which is, is a gift, which is the best opportunity out there. So I'll give you two months off. So I'm only going to calculate this for 44 weeks. So if we look at 44 weeks of that, that's going to give you a grand total of $112,147.20 in additional revenue from just being efficient. Again, you have to remember, this isn't taken in consideration of the rest of the day that you're working the rest of the sits that you're getting, the rest of the sales that you are able to close. This is just simply taking that one extra hour every single day from guessing and checking of what lead am I going to go to next, she doesn't look like she's going to be home, he looks like he probably will be home, and driving all over God's green earth, going back and forth and just waiting or sitting and scrolling on your phone. If we're able to eliminate all of those efficiencies and we're able to use and utilize the technology and tools in front of us to just be tiny efficient get a little win each and every day even if you don't even sell one of those every day you're at least going to make fifty thousand but if you're able to be efficient every single day with that extra hour again get six additional door knocks in get two additional sits in sell one of those that's going to make a difference of an extra hundred and twelve thousand dollars in a year so the question is for you guys 
How much are your inefficiencies costing you right now? Thanks, we'll catch you on the next video.